Thank you so much for clicking on this video and we're just gonna get straight into it. Welcome to or back to my channel. My name is Jordan or Jorwish and welcome. One, I just wanted to say that I did a video similar to this on another person's channel. Her name is Latasia, so her channel is Life with Latasia. So go check out the video on her channel. I'm definitely gonna have it linked down below. background about myself so yeah I'm from DC I went to high school in DC but I went to a predominantly white high school there's only one other black girl in my grade and there was like three or four other black boys in the grade like there was not a lot of black people then I went to undergrad to UCLA go Bruins yes number one public school in the nation okay okay graduated with honors period i majored in political science and i did the race ethnicity and politics concentration so you can see this pattern of life i've been going in okay and i knew before i went to college that i wanted to be a lawyer i didn't know exactly where i wanted to go in my head i was going to be you know at some t14 law school like a harvard a yale you know something like that but I didn't end up there. You know, I'm going to Howard and I'm gonna tell you all why I made that decision. And I have a list here. First and foremost is I was tired of being the only black girl or black person in general if you are a minority person of color you've probably felt this way if you've been in predominantly white spaces i can't speak for your experience but i know for me as a black person it's weird you know it's not a good feeling when you're the only one i was really comfortable with being the only black girl like i was getting comfortable with that and that is just mm -mm, no 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 if i could look back i'd be like no no this is not normal it's not normal for there to be no other black girls in your class it's not normal it's not normal for me to be in a lecture hall with like 200 something people and there's one other black person like no that that mm -mm. i don't like that mm -mm. so yeah part of the reason was yeah i was just tired of being the only black person that comes with like the microaggressions whenever we talk about slavery everyone's looking looking at me and I, mm -mm, I was in a cultural appropriation class. I'm the only black person, only black girl. And so of course, I'm having to be the spokesperson for the whole community, the whole class, it was tiring. I could never really have a day off. Like I was just tired of that environment. So I think around like closer to my senior year, I was just like, you know, I think next for me is an HBCU. Like I was just, I kind of had in the back of my head. So that's, part of the reason why and I think that's a really common reason why people go to HBCUs as well. It was my last chance to go to an HBCU. You know, I've just always grown up being told like every black person should go to an HBCU at some point in their life. And even though that's not possible for everyone, the fact that I do have this opportunity that I do want to pursue even higher, higher education and law school, I'm definitely not going back to school after law school. Like I barely even want to go back to school as it is so this is really my last chance to do hbcu i'm a very yolo type of person and i want it i want to get that experience so that's another reason why i chose howard law howard university school of law hustle whatever another reason is before i embark on this journey of going into corporate white america that's very white very male dominated I want to be surrounded in like a cultural hub. I want to just, you know, feel the sense of community, the sense of understanding. I don't want to have to be in a space where saying Black Lives Matter is going to make people cringe around me or make people like, huh? <gasps> or like, you know, cause a debate. Like, I don't, I don't want to deal with that. And I know in some spaces I probably will have to deal with that. But right now in my point of life, I don't. I, I, I ain't got time for that. I don't have the patience. I've been pushed to my limits and I'm done. So before I have to go on that white corporate America journey or put myself in that space, I thought it was best to just have this little, this community surrounded by black educated people. You know, before I have to be like a minority again, I, <laughs> I want to choose to be part of the majority. So that's another reason why I chose Howard. 
the history is so rich and it just brings me joy to know that I'm about to be a part of this. Law is a big part of our history now, but the civil rights history of Howard just really resonated with me. It's really aligned with what I want to do and what I want to live by. The third good marshal went to Howard Law, okay? And if you don't know, now you know. And he's just an amazing figure, okay? The first black person to be a Supreme Court justice. What? Also working with the Brown versus Board of Education case, like these are just all monumental things. And so I just feel like the civil rights history of Howard is just what I want to be around. That's just what I want to be a part of. I wrote my personal statement for law school about systemic racism and dealing with discrimination and how to combat that and fight that. And so it really tied perfectly with Thurgood Marshall being a product of Howard Law and having a clinic named after him, like all this great history that Howard has been a part of, like their lawyers have really been at the forefront of the civil rights movement. Movement, which I think is you know we're seeing this again not even again it really didn't stop but you know now the mainstream is seeing it again the history of Howard in general beyond the law school just the university as a whole I think I really respect that history yeah that's just another reason why I wanted to go to Howard Law So like I said earlier I'm originally from DC but I did move to LA for undergrad so I lived in LA for four years Ooh, sounds like a long ass time but I'm back in DC and that's another thing like I knew I wanted to go to law school in DC I think being away from home for a while it was really good you know I really like the independence and things like that but you know I did kind of boomerang back like mm, I want to be close to my family again I want to be close to my mom again that's another thing like I knew I wanted to go to law school do I like DC because it's loud Okay, so yeah, location was another big thing. I knew I wanted to go to school in DC, so I really only applied to DC schools. Why is it so loud? Someone is drilling outside and it's getting on my nerves. I've traveled a lot of places as well, and DC is still one of my favorite cities. I don't want to live at home though, so I'm going to be moving out soon. Stay tuned for that content. As much as I do love my parents, they get on my everlasting nerves, so I'm excited to get out, and I'm blessed that I'm able to get my own apartment, and I'm so excited for that journey. But DC, it's just a great location. I think it's great for young people as well. It's, I wouldn't say a college town, but there are a lot of, you know, a lot of schools in the area. There's a lot of young professionals. It's a great place if you're just getting started in the workforce, especially law, but there's just so many opportunities here. I just thought what better place to go to law school than here. Not that I want to get into politics or anything, but, um, I feel like I can still have like law opportunities here. When I say get into politics, like as a career, I do not want to work in politics. When you're choosing a law school, location is really big because basically they tell you to go to law school where you want to practice law because they're going to prepare me for the DC bar. And if I'm going to get barred in DC, like I want to live in DC. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I could really just see myself living in DC, raising a family here. I just like the city, so that's why I knew I wanted to go to a school in DC. I don't know if I'm just going to live here for the rest of my life. I do kind of want to move around a bit, but as of now, I like DC. And the last reason is my family ties to the university. I went to Howard for daycare. I know, very strange, isn't it? But they have like a daycare for people who work there. It's mainly for the doctors, I think. At least historically, I think that's what it was for. Like the doctors who work at the hospital, their kids would go there. I went there growing up and yeah, pretty crazy that I went to Howard daycare and who would have thought I would go to the Howard Law School. Um, Howard has a middle school as well. I did not go to the middle school. But like I knew about it and just ever since me going to the daycare like so you can know like my dad went to Howard for grad school and he taught at Howard for like at least 10 years worked at Howard for several years so growing up I was kind of just over Howard I was like yeah anywhere but Howard <laughs> for undergrad and I would go it's just like it's just too close I'm just tired of hearing about it tired no it's just you know I wanted to move on so I went to UCLA and now went to LA I realized, you know, I was taking advantage of all this stuff I had access to right down the street. Now, lo and behold, I came full circle going to Howard. So, and it didn't just stop for me going to daycare there. Like, okay, let's say like all of our, we got like most of our babysitters when I was growing up from Howard. My doctor went to Howard. My, and like, I, this is really common for the DC area as well. So I don't think it's not like I'm in a unique case. 
the DC community, um, at least like the black people that I'm around, most of them have ties to Howard. The internship that I recently did, I got plugged to that through someone that my dad knew from Howard Daycare. When I, when we went, they, the parents became friends, like that whole little network. And it's like, wow. So that's just shows you the power of Howard's net. I guess the network as well was another reason. I just feel like you can just tap into such a network going there. It just made sense for me to go there. Like, you know how those things in life where it just randomly is like, I don't know, destiny, fate, something, but it just, my path was just aligning to Howard. I'm glad that I realized that as I was studying for the LSAT because it definitely relieved a lot of stress. Howard scores requirements or like median score. I wouldn't, I don't want to say requirements, but like the scores tend to be lower than like if you were to go to like a top 14 school. They still get the same recruiters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the recruiters still go to Howard. A lot of people have said, oh, we get our black people from Howard. So you still get access to those same opportunities. You just get a more um, community space. Um, I mean, I'm saying you get, I haven't even gone to the school yet, girl, but I'm just going by what people have told me and what I've witnessed so far. Because my friends who are going to law school, they'll tell me like, oh, like our group me is dead silent or our group me, like we're not even that close in group me. Our group me is constantly popping off and it's not just annoying stuff. Like I'm actually intrigued in the conversations. Like I participate in the combos because these people are hilarious and I'm so excited to meet them. So that's another thing that I guess I could say reason why it's just like the community aspect. Um, I'm rambling, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. But yeah, that's just where I am now. I Let me know. I kind of want to do a video on like things, expectations versus reality of Howard. But I feel like I can't even do that because I haven't even gone there. But like I already have some things that I want to get off my chest about what I have experienced and heard. Because girl. But anyways, like always, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. And I'm excited for more law school content for you all. Kind of worried though because of the whole COVID situation, but we'll, we'll, we're gonna make it work. And hopefully the next time I see you all, I'll be in my new apartment. So, <laughs> can't wait to get out. I know I'm so tired of this background, y'all. Like I was literally gonna put like a backdrop behind it, but I just got too lazy, but I, that's part of the reason I'm like oh I didn't even want to film this video yet because I wanted to film it in my new apartment but I'm just like you know let me not procrastinate anymore so yeah thanks for being on this journey with me and I'll see y'all in the next one bye